Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us here today for what is a very sad day for the City of Toronto and the Toronto Police Service. Um, as I uh, very sadly announced earlier today, uh, very early this morning, a member of the Toronto Police Service, Sergeant Ryan Russell, uh, was killed in the line of duty uh, as a result of being struck uh, by a stolen vehicle uh, this morning in the, in the vicinity of Avenue Road and Davenport Road. The murder of Sergeant Russell is being investigated by the Toronto Homicide Squad and uh, we are very grateful for the uh, support and information that many citizens are coming forward with to assist us in that investigation. Uh, the, the murder of Sergeant Russell was preceded by the theft of a snowplow in the area of uh, Dundas and Parliament Street and it was through the investigation of that crime uh, that Sergeant Russell attempted uh, to uh, stop this, this stolen vehicle. Uh, he was uh, struck and uh, received devastating injuries and he subsequently succumbed to those injuries as you have been advised. The vehicle then fled the scene and continued uh, to drive around the west end of the city where it was involved in numerous uh, collisions. Uh, the, the vehicle was uh, followed by uh, officers of the Toronto Police Service and eventually uh, was stopped by members of our emergency task force. Uh, the individual responsible uh, was apprehended at the scene and taken into custody. Uh, I, I'm aware that he received certain injuries and that aspect of the investigation is being conducted by the Special Investigative Unit, an independent agency of the province of Ontario uh, investigating the, the injuries received. We are sharing that scene with the Special Investigative Unit because there were further criminal acts uh, perpetuated there and another police officer from the Emergency Task Force was injured. Today, uh, we have had the sad duty to notify Sergeant Russell's family uh, of the tragic loss of this officer who was out doing his job this morning. He is, he is an 11-year veteran of the Toronto Police Service. He is a highly regarded officer, was a highly regarded officer of our service, has served for a number of years in our Guns and Gangs Task Force, uh, and was in August of last year promoted to the rank of Sergeant, where he was transferred to 52 Division and has served as one of the supervisors on A Platoon at 52 Division. The young officers who have worked for him and have come to admire and respect him as a leader um, I can tell you, because I've spoken to them today, are devastated by the loss of this friend and this colleague and mentor whom they had come to respect and admire. All of the members of the Toronto Police Service are deeply saddened by the loss of our colleague, our brother officer, and our friend. We are doing everything we can to support his family. I would ask for the prayers of the people of Toronto to go to his family as they deal with a devastating loss. Sergeant Russell leaves behind a very courageous young wife and a two-year-old son. It is indeed a tragedy for the service and for the city. I also want to express my gratitude to the very many citizens of Toronto, to my colleagues in policing and emergency services from across the country who have called to express their sympathy and condolences for this tragic loss. And I want to also pass my thanks to the very, very many citizens who have called to express their, their love and their support at this very difficult time. Now, earlier today, I uh, spoke to the press and did not ha have much of an opportunity to answer your questions. I'll do the best of my ability to do that now. Please. The Homicide Squad is investigating the murder of, of Sergeant Russell. Uh, the, the suspect in this matter is in custody. And at, at the present time, the investigation is ongoing and, and the charges have not been laid. Uh, but but, but it's, it's proceeding as we would expect it to do. Um, my understanding is that the, the, uh, the suspect in this matter did receive injuries. Um, as, as a result of, of gunfire. I can't comment. Um, I am precluded by law from commenting on any aspect of that investigation. I can tell you that the suspect in the murder of Sergeant Russell is in custody 
and that the injuries that he received while being taken into custody is being investigated by the SIU. There, there are a number of aspects of this investigation that the Homicide Squad is, in looking, is looking into currently. Those matters are very much in, under investigation, and as that evidence is gathered and confirmed, then that information will be passed on. A little early, unfortunately, Rob. Uh, we will, of course, be respecting the wishes of the family. Uh, we know that very many police officers from across Canada will, will gather here in Toronto to demonstrate their respect and support for uh, Sergeant Russell for the service and, and for his family. Uh, those arrangements will be working out with his family and respecting their wishes and, and uh, I anticipate we'll have better information about what those arrangements might be tomorrow and we'll make that publicly available when that information is known and confirmed to us. Yes, sir. Well, all of the officers of our service and all of our many friends in this city grieve the loss of this officer. Uh, I went to the hospital this morning and I, I had the very difficult responsibility of, of telling his young wife and the mother of his young son uh, that he had died in the line of duty and that he had made the ultimate sacrifice uh, on behalf of the city. And, and I had to deliver that news to his parents as well. And, it was, and officers from across the city came to the hospital, wanting to show their respect, wanting to, to provide their support. Um, I've spoken to them. I also went to 52 Division today, and I spoke to the officers who have worked with him for the last six months, and, and I can tell you that they are deeply hurt by, by the loss of this man that they had come to admire and respect and look upon as a real leader. Uh, he really, had really made a strong impression upon them, and they're mourning that loss today. We're providing all of those officers in 52 Division in all of the units were involved in today's event with officers from the Guns and Gangs Task Force who worked with Ryan for, for so many years and officers from the ETF. Uh, with all of the support that we can for our critical incident uh, teams that have attended there, our victim services has, is working with his family and we're trying to provide all of them with support. This, this is a, a, a great loss for us and a loss that we, that we all mourn together and we are making sure that we provide our people with as much support as we can in a very, very difficult time. And, and I'm also reminded, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm from a police family and, and I know what this is like because I grew up with it. But I know today when it first went across the radio or on the news that a police officer had been badly hurt, that at least 6,000 families in this city, their hearts skipped a beat. And everybody quickly thought, where is my loved one? And there is very little comfort that it, that Ours are safe, but someone has lost their life, and another family has been so deeply hurt uh, by this. And so I think it's also important that we, each of us, go home and provide a little comfort to our families who are touched by this, and, and to ensure that, that we remind ourselves and the people that care about us how dangerous this work can be. And you know, our people, I, I, I've always known this, but I, I think it's important to re remember and reflect today that our people go out there and do extraordinary things each and every day, that they put their lives on the line, that they do it to keep their public safe, the community safe, and that they are willing to put themselves in harm's way for others. It is each and every day an extraordinary act of courage, and today we have seen the price that some have to pay. And, and I think it's important for us to go home and, and hug our kids because there's a, a, a little boy who doesn't have a father, and, and to, re to be reminded of our responsibility to the people who love and care for us. I'm sorry? I, I can tell you he's in custody and he's receiving treatments for his injuries. No, un unfortunately, uh, that information is being confirmed even as we speak. As I said, the Homicide Squad is in investigating all of the circumstances and gathering all of the evidence in the murder of Sergeant Russell. And when we have all of that information gathered, it will be made public. But until then, I don't have any update on you on any information on the, on the suspect in this matter. Sir, 
Well, again, unfortunately, I can't give you a great deal of detail uh, with respect to the means by which that vehicle came to stop or the suspect was taken into custody because that matter is being investigated by the Special Investigative Unit, and it is, quite frankly, their responsibility to provide public updates on that aspect of the investigation. I can tell you that this was a very dangerous situation, and it was, it was a very challenging uh, thing for, to get this vehicle stopped, and, and there were uh, no, several collisions that occurred throughout the city. And, and my understanding, there was also a collision immediately preceding uh, the, the, uh, the, the suspect being apprehended in this case. And th that officer received some injuries at, at, at the scene in which the suspect was apprehended. I understand that they are being treated for those injuries and they're going to recover from them. It, the the, the officer was injured, uh, but those injuries are not life-threatening. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, I thank you for, for your attendance here today and also for your patience. I've asked earlier that we provide the family with a little space uh, to respect the very serious uh, grief that they are now experiencing while we provide them with support. And I'm, I'm very grateful for, for your uh, continued effort to do that. And as we, we obtain more information on the arrangements for the funeral that will take place, uh, for, for Sergeant Ryan Russell and for other particulars with respect to our investigation. We'll make that available to you. Uh, but today, we will grieve the loss of, of, of one of our officers, uh, a hero of the Toronto Police Service who, who went out this morning to do his job. And in doing his job, gave his life. And, and that is a tragedy for all of us and, and, and something that I think we will all mourn. Thank you all very much.